Hilmo M writes, hey guys, do you think that Duncan Jones could evolve into one of the best directors or at least a well-recognized and well-respected director? He has only made two feature films so far, Moon and Source Code, and both of them, in my opinion, are masterpieces. What are your thoughts? Um, I completely agree with you about Moon. Moon is a breathtaking film that I was a little bit late to the party. Actually, I saw it just after the first wave of people, everybody saw it. So everybody already knew how great it was. I checked it out. It was, it's magnificent. Source Code, I'm not with you on Source Code. I liked Source Code. I, I wouldn't say I was thrilled with it or I thought it was a masterpiece by any sort. It's a movie that had its flaws, but it's a very creative film. And, uh, you know, I like what they did with it and I enjoyed watching it. I won't watch it again. So I don't know that I would say both of his films have been masterpieces from my point of view. The really interesting thing here is Duncan Jones's next movie. And Duncan Jones's next movie is Warcraft. I think we're going to tell a lot about where his career is going to go from here. It's, and Warcraft doesn't even have to be freaking amazing. But if he can take this world, a video game movie, almost nobody's taken a video game movie and made it, or, or a video game and made it a watchable movie yet. If he can do something really good with Warcraft, I think that'll tell us a lot more about his future. But for me at this point, it's far too early, two movies in, to appoint or anoint Duncan Jones as being you know, he'll be one of the greats. I think it's way too early to say that, especially after, I think, a mixed bag between Moon and Source Code. We'll see what he does with World, uh, with Warcraft and where what he does after that. Dennis, how do you see it? Yeah, I love Moon as well. I, I own it on Blu-ray. I watch it a lot. Uh, Source Code I saw, and I liked it. I thought it was solid. It's definitely not on that same level as Moon. Um, I, I do think, though, if you, if you see, like, his style and the way he he does things in his movies that he has the potential of being a really good, too great director in the sure. future. He has all the, the capabilities. He can get his actors to, you know, to bring out the emotion that he needs. He knows how to put the scenes together and put the story together in a logical and, and uh, that makes sense. And so, yeah, he's not, you, you can't put him on the level of, of, let's say, a Chris Nolan or Aronofsky yet. Right. But I think he has that potential, and, and, and like you said, with Warcraft, that's that's gonna be interesting because it's such a big budgeted movie. Yeah, how which he hasn't he, done yet. No, he hasn't. So how is he gonna handle that? Because th that's when all the politics come into play, and where a director, it's not his creativity that's gonna be tested. It's gonna be more of all these other side things. So hopefully, hopefully he gets the job done. Yeah, uh, the budget of Warcraft, the scope of Warcraft, yeah. and the pre-existing popularity. Yeah. Fan base. Fan base, it's all new things to him. So I think this is gonna be a really good measuring stick for Duncan Jones, I hope he does great. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.